Grandma left her a fortune, but she wouldn't share with her sister. Unfortunately, we live in a world where lies are a common thing. Of course, not everybody's lying to their loved ones, yet there are still those who try to defend themselves by doing the wrong thing. And sometimes, one improper action can change someone's life forever. Thankfully for most people, their parents are the people that they can trust with everything. However, this girl's family was an exception. The lie she was told made her lose all trust in them. People often say that grandparents love their grandchildren more than their own kids. There are indeed very few of them that can resist their grandkids' wishes. Amy was lucky enough to have such a grandmother who loved her more than anyone on this planet. The girl was living with her parents, but most of the time she spent with her caring grandmother since the parents did their best working all day long. However, the girl's life wasn't that easy, mostly because of one reason. Amy deeply loved her grandmother and felt a special connection with her. Some of her sweetest memories were created together with her grandma. You see, most kids dream of living with their grandparents as they always allow them more sweets than their parents and are less strict in general. It's a dream come true. Yet that dream was about to end out of the blue for Amy. That fateful day was like any other usual one. The girl was playing outside in their yard and digging the ground to find various insects that lived there. For her, it was a different world she needed to explore. Her grandmother always warned her to be careful while digging the ground up, yet she never stopped her from doing what she was passionate about. Sometimes, Amy was so involved in what she was doing that she could lose track of time, and one day it happened. After digging for a while, the girl went back into the house without noticing that her hands were extremely filthy. Amy spotted her grandmother's books and tried to get an encyclopedia. Unfortunately, she touched one of her favorite books with her dirty hands and left a mark. Thing is, that book was a part of a collection that Amy's grandmother had started collecting when she was a teenager. And yes, it was pretty valuable for the old lady. When the girl realized what she'd done, she was scared out of her wits. She knew Granny deeply loved all those books and would be super angry with her. Even though Amy hid the book far away, she knew sooner or later it would be discovered. The girl felt deeply ashamed because of what she'd done and couldn't stop thinking about it. So when her parents picked her up, she confessed her crime. They were very understanding of what had happened and realized it was an honest mistake. The girl's parents told her there's nothing to worry about and her Grammy would understand and forgive her. After all, one book shouldn't be a big deal. Amy felt much better, yet she had no idea what was waiting for her down the road. After a few days, Amy's parents called her and said they wanted to talk to her. Meg told her that they did whatever they could, but her grandmother didn't want to see her again. They added the old lady was too mad to talk to the girl and there was nothing they could do. Little Amy was blown away. It was the first time someone was so harsh towards her and the girl didn't know how to react or what to do. Amy started crying her eyes out and begging her parents to go to her granny. She'd ask her for forgiveness and tell her the truth. She had to forgive her. After all, they had a special bond and deeply loved each other. But her parents told her again that her grandmother made it very clear that she didn't want to see her again. Amy's tiny heart was broken into tiny pieces. She couldn't understand why her granny was so offended about something so small. Little did she know what she was about to find out later. In a while, Amy and her new sister moved out of the city where they were staying till then. Leaving her granny was very difficult for the little girl. She was feeling devastated, but her parents convinced her they had to go. After all, the girl had other grannies she could visit any time. However, Amy did have a very unique connection with her grandmother she was leaving behind. The girl felt it wasn't right just to go and leave things unresolved. Unfortunately, she was too young to convince her parents and express her thoughts, so they decided to pack their stuff and go. A few years later, when Amy turned 22, she found out the real reason for what happened, and the truth was awful. You see, it turned out her parents completely lied to her. All the things they told her about her granny being angry were fabricated. In fact, she didn't say she didn't want to see her beloved granddaughter. There was a completely different story that was taking place without Amy realizing, and when the truth was revealed, the girl was furious at her parents and herself. All her life, she found herself guilty of what she'd done. All that time, she was conscience-stricken. She was young back then, and she couldn't have said no to her parents, but now she was an adult, and it was time to make a decision. Amy was thinking many times she should try to meet her grandmother. She couldn't still be angry, and now it turns out she was never angry to start with. You see, Amy's parents used the story about the book to hide the real reason for leaving the town and cutting ties with her granny. It was their vendetta due to a scandal that happened. As we'd mentioned before, Amy had a new sister who was the real reason for everything. But why? In fact, she wasn't a real sister. Amy's mother had cheated on her husband and got pregnant. When Amy's father found out, he was infuriated. At first, he thought about leaving her and his daughter, but then decided to stay. Abandoning his beloved kid was too painful for the man. 
he was okay with raising the other child as his own. Then came the time to break this news to Amy's grandmother. Unfortunately, the older lady couldn't understand their conditions and didn't want to be there for the other child as a grandmother. She said she wasn't feeling okay being the grandmother of a child not her blood, and she didn't feel like negotiating. It was her final decision. Then it was the family's turn, and they enforced an ultimatum upon the grandmother. Either she'd be the granny to both children, or none. And if the woman didn't agree to that, she wouldn't be able to meet her lovely Amy anymore. The grandmother thought they were bluffing. They couldn't be that harsh towards their daughter, who loves spending time with her granny. But they were determined to walk the talk. If someone was wrong, it was Amy's parents. When the girl found out the shocking truth, she couldn't believe her ears. She was too angry to stay with them under the same roof. Thus, in two days, the girl moved out, intending to get in touch with her grandmother. After all these years, she felt she was wrong for not contacting her. That was a chance for her to get back some of the lost time. But there wasn't much of it left. When Amy finally reached out to her granny, she found out the woman was very sick. Nevertheless, she was deeply touched when her beloved granddaughter found her after so many years. She realized it wasn't her fault for not contacting her. She could never be mad at Amy. The girl was there for her granny for her last months, taking care of her. Now she could finally get close with her again, just like at childhood. Soon, the woman passed away. Amy's heart was broken into tiny pieces again. She'd finally reunited with her loving granny and now she would gone forever. The girl didn't know what next step to take or where to go. There was no excuse for her parents and Amy was determined not to come back home. Their lies changed everything, but there was one last thing they were going to surprise her with and it wasn't good. You see, Amy's grandmother left her some money. Of course, it wasn't a fortune, but it was enough for an unemployed university student. The girl could pay her student loans, buy a second-hand car, and also have something left over. In fact, it was an excellent opportunity to start a new, independent life. However, her family had different plans. They wanted her to share the 50-50 with her sister. And this news baffled Amy. She didn't know how to react. Instead of asking for her forgiveness for all the awful things they'd done to her, they wanted her to give half of the money to her sister. The girl was sure that wasn't something her granny would want her to do. And Amy herself wasn't going to do anything like that. Never. It was enough for her. I told them that just because they put themselves and my sister before me doesn't mean I have to put them before me too and I wasn't going to give her a cent. My parents are calling me petty and selfish, but given the circumstances, it's falling on deaf ears, Amy said. But there was another thing that made the girl that angry. You see, her parents didn't find their lie a big deal at all. They didn't even realize what they'd done to their daughter and almost forgot about it. Imagine a child living all their life with the thought that a little mistake can change your life forever. That people can stop loving you just because one day you slipped up. It was more than Amy could handle many times, giving her anxiety and making her emotionally unstable. And here's the reason why she shared her story. The girl just wanted to read other people's opinions about her reaction. Was she too harsh with her parents? Was she right being mad at them? In our mind, such a reaction is the only possible one after what your parents have done to you, without the regret and the feeling of guilt.